Hey guys, Dominic from Genuine Reels, and I decided to make a quick video just reacting to the Batman news that, of course, Ben Affleck will not be directing the Batman film. For those who don't know, a few weeks ago, he said some comments, some, you know, comments that kind of got people thinking that he wasn't going to direct it, and then he went on Jimmy Kimmel and said, no, I'm directing it, it's going to happen, and now, of course, it's confirmed that he's not directing it. Now, I loved Ben Affleck's Batman, and let's all remember that he will still be playing Batman. But is this a problem? What, is this, what does this mean? This could mean a couple of things. I have, a, I have mixed feelings on this, because this could be that he's simply burnt out. He's involved in the writing. He's involved in producing this. He's playing Batman, and directing is a big task. So this could be just a natural you know, defense where he's just like, listen, I can't, I got to take a step back. I want to focus on playing this guy and focus on my other roles. And that's it. I want another director to take over. Or it could be what we're all thinking that there is some problems in the foundation of this movie. Now, could there be? I think there is. Um, you know, we've seen Batman v Superman, and even though I have the poster right there, as you could see, I did not love this movie. Definitely far from it. And for the record, I bought those posters before I even saw the movie. Good, I probably jinxed it. But, yeah, that movie wasn't that good. Yeah, Suicide Squad, I thought was terrible. Man of Steel was the strongest, I think, of the DC Universe movies so far, but... The Batman, or whatever it's called, was something I was looking forward to. You got a director like Ben Affleck, who's on the top of his game, and you thought he would bring something new to this. Is this a bad thing? Uh, I don't know, guys. I feel that it probably is. He's obviously not happy with the direction that the movie is going. He can't just bail on playing the role because I believe he signed to playing Batman three times, so this would be the third time. Is I don't know all the ins and outs. I could be wrong, but that's what I've heard. Uh, you know, he's he released a statement that's very you know peaceful. It's not you know bashing anybody, but that's just him being a good guy. I think there is some problems. I think he's probably fed up with you know, Warner Brothers or whatever's causing these problems, if it's another person. Uh, and he decided to just say, hey, I'm not directing it. I'm not committed to directing it. Go find the director. This is too much for me. Now, is he still going to be in the movie? Of course he's still going to be in the movie for now. I hope that we don't hear, you know, that after this movie wraps, if it don't get out that he's going to walk away from the cowl. But hey, anything's possible at this point. Uh, as far as the director, let's hopefully get somebody good. I mean, maybe Ben Affleck could get somebody in there that's more on his side. Who knows, guys. But I just hope this movie turns out good. I don't think it's terrible that Ben Affleck's not directing. I mean, even though I love his directing and I love his movies... He showed us with Live By Night, if you haven't seen it, that, you know, he could have a slip-up. He could have a hiccup, and that movie wasn't perfect. That, this could also be related to that. Warner Brothers could be saying, hey, uh, you know, we didn't do such a good job on Live By Night. It didn't really make us money. You know, we should do this, we should do that, we should do this. And they could be on his back. Who knows what's really going down but that, I thought I'd just get that off my chest being the Batman fan that I am. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think's going on? How do you feel about this? What does this mean for the DC Universe? Are we scared or what? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Check out the other videos. Check out the comedy sketches. I'm going to put uh, my review of Live By Night right there. And I'll put a subscribe button there. And if you like what you see, please click that, guys. And thank you for watching.